Many of you will remember the much-loved comedian Red Skelton. One night in the middle of his television show, he paused from his usual clowning around to give a speech about the Pledge of Allegiance. He reflected on each individual word and what it meant to him as an American. As we prepare for the Lord's Supper, I'd like to borrow that approach and think about some of the words we have just sung and what they mean to us as Christians. When I stand in glory, I will see his face. There I'll serve my king forever in that holy place. When I stand, when, not if, not maybe, not hopefully, possibly, if the stars align just right, but when, confident of my eternal future only because of the blood of Jesus Christ. When I, I, me, with all my faults, with all the good and the bad, neither hitching on to the faith of anyone else, nor dragged down by the mistakes of others, but simply myself, a sinful man saved by my Redeemer. When I stand, when these weary legs that have so often stumbled through life are restored to full strength, when all wheelchairs and canes and artificial limbs and hospital beds have been cast aside, we will put on that incorruptible body intended for us, and we will rise to our full height to stand. When I stand in glory, in the dazzling light, in the sublime majesty, in the stillness of his divine presence, in what the author of Hebrews calls the radiance of God, I will see his face. I will see these eyes that have so often been blinded by sin and vanity, that have been limited by the narrow perspective of this small world, they will be open for the first time in my life, fully open to see this world as it truly is. All doubts cleared away, all misperceptions replaced by sharp focus. I will see his face, Jehovah, the Alpha and Omega, the immortal invisible being whose countenance even Moses was not allowed to see on this earth, the face I have tried to picture my entire life. I will behold the image of the Almighty, the one Jesus called Abba, Father, will at last be visible. Then I, we, will no longer walk by faith, but by sight. There I'll serve my king forever. There, in heaven, the land of cloudless day and lasting joy, the blissful dwelling place of the angels and the saints, where sin and imperfection are forgotten, where Jesus Christ and the redeemed walk side by side on streets of gold. There I'll serve without weariness or hesitation, with no grudging sense of duty, with no struggle against selfishness, I will joyfully do my master's bidding in the full purity of heart that I strove so imperfectly for on earth. There I'll serve my king, my eternal creator and Lord, the one who sent his own son to be a servant forever, without ceasing, without growing old, always and always as eternity marches joyfully on in that holy place, in a dwelling where the holiness of God radiates through every square inch, in a place more sacred than the room in the temple that even the high priest could only see once a year in the place that Jesus promised he would prepare for you and for me. Brothers and sisters, each time that we take communion, we do so seated in frail bodies on a temporary planet, surrounded by imperfect fellow travelers in the journey of faith. 
Yet we are confident that because of the sacrifice we commemorate now, we will all one day stand together and see the face of God. Shall we pray? Almighty God, as we share communion together in this room and with those who are watching, we are so eager to see each other fully face to face. And if that is true, Father, how much more do we long to see you in all your glory? We know that's only possible through the redeeming blood of our Savior, and we are thankful for his perfect life his courageous death, and his triumphant resurrection. We remember these things as we take this bread. We pray through Christ. Amen. Father, bless us now as we take this cup and as we await the return of the Savior whose blood it represents. In his name, amen. Father, we are thankful for the opportunity to give. And just as Jesus multiplied a small meal into food for thousands, so we are confident that you can bless our gifts and do with them more than we could imagine. In his name, amen. <clears throat> 